I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. <laughs> Admitted, you're having a ball. <laughs> I don't trust camaraderie, all these people smiling, buying me drinks. It's unnatural. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tevinter could be. For Southerners, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will? Tevinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. That was the Tevinterist Vint in the history of all Vints. The original mold from which subsequent Vints were cast. And I got to help kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. There's no one I would have rather had at my side, Bull. Same here. I got to kill another dragon and fight a Vint. Those poor bastards on the ground had demons. The Ben Hathrath are pleased. Their agents are checking for remnants of the cult in Tevinter. I expect they'll call me back for a more detailed report. Not many experts on demons and old magisters under the queue. Do you have to leave? Not for a while yet, Gadan. Corypheus was a busy guy. I figure we've still got some cleanup work to do. But not tonight. Tonight, we get shit-faced one last time. To us, being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. So much to do, my dear. I'll be returning to Valvoyor to organize the Loyalist Mages. The Empress requires my expertise during what is sure to be a difficult transition. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. As a matter of fact, I am. This is all for you, darling. Enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Go mingle. The night is still young. Hey, Kadan. I know we talked, but you got a minute before you do your big thing. <laughs> you almost always last longer than a minute, Bull. against everything. Never flinched. You are the toughest, wisest, most beautiful person I've ever met, Kadan. And I can't tell you how proud I'm gonna be watching you out there, addressing the whole Inquisition. <sighs> With this big, old love bite on your neck. <sighs> You ass. Tis said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. 
It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. Where once war raged, there is now a shaky peace. Orle is resurgent, the Empress a patron of arts and culture. Many attribute this recovery to her lady love, though others wonder how long their reunion will truly last. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Her subjects approve of the Alliance, even if some claim it is the only reason she yet clings to power. Those Grey Wardens who survived the Battle at Adamant ventured north into exile. They returned to the mighty fortress of Weishaupt, and word slowly spreads that a battle for control of the Order has erupted. If Hawk reaches Weishaupt with them is unknown. Indeed, before long, all news out of Weishaupt ends. Slowly, the Wardens withdraw from across the north as well. Some believe the ancient order is on the verge of vanishing forever. One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. Her response is as swift as it is deadly. Unity is maintained, but blood runs through the halls of the Grand Cathedral. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow Mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. And what of the Inquisition itself? It has eyes and ears in every hall. No secrets are beyond its reach. And that knowledge has become the source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready.